and then, well, things change more dramatically into the weekend. A big area of high pressure across Scandinavia starts to dominate. The isobars squidge together. We know what that means. We means the winds will be strengthening. And again, they'll start to come in like they did a few weeks ago from the east. And that means the air will be coming down from Siberia or beyond, even from the Arctic. And this cold air sweeping in across the UK as we go into Saturday becomes even more widespread. The whole map pretty much turning dark blue by Sunday. These will be the typical temperatures on Sunday, struggling to get above freezing in places. Notice the coldest conditions for England and Wales, perhaps not quite as cold across Scotland and Northern Ireland. But that's the actual temperatures on the thermometer. Add on a bitter easterly wind, again most notable across the south, and it will feel well below freezing. And beyond the weekend, what's going to happen? Well, one of the reasons it's been so cold recently is because the jet stream has been well to the south of the UK. And that's how we go into next week. Uh, a slow moving sluggish jet stream close to the UK. But subtle signs of changing through the first part of next week. Something, well, at least vaguely similar to what we'd expect with a jet stream trying to come back in and influence things from the Atlantic. By no means a raging jet stream across the UK, but it is a subtle change. And that will allow the cold air that arrives this weekend to slowly get pushed away. And I do mean slowly. It'll still be pretty cold on Monday and Tuesday, but gradually more of an Atlantic influence means the air will turn, well, just a little bit milder as we go into next week.